welcome to today's video. I have to redo this video. I posted it and the voice was a little low, so we have to redo this video. I um, Welcome to my channel. I'm kind of figuring out what content to produce because I'm probably going to be shifting. I just kind of post whatever is on my mind and maybe it will help you. That's kind of my purpose of my channel, whether it's inspiration, education, entertainment, funny, comical, just because that's my channel, right? So I hope you are doing well. Uh, I have my fancy pants thrifted. Thrifted. This was only like, what, $5 used. And I also got my matching Under Armour thrifted. Thrifted. And uh, I got my Nike Pro pants thrifted. <laughs> Typically don't get thrifted pants, but it's okay. They were like brand new, so it's all good. And then I got my bulldog socks. I'm not gonna lift up my shoes, but um, I got my Nike Pros. I got my Metcons. Okay. I hope you are well today, and I'm going to be speaking a little louder. I tend to be a little soft spoken. I invested in a camera. Um, I invested in on Amazon.com. I invested in a. Excuse me, I invested in a, not a camera, I invested in a microphone that I um, will be ordering, or I ordered, and it will help to make my voice a little bit more clear, I should say. Um, studio microphone, we're going we're gonna to be fancy pants. I'm trying to show you I got this one so that's the one I got um, so we'll see we'll see how that goes it sounds really good it got a lot of good reviews and I can write it off so the video I made yesterday I actually also did my makeup just for fun um, so the video I made yesterday was a gym etiquette video and I was inspired to do that video because, <laughs> caught now, um, I was inspired to do that video because I see a lot of people don't seem to have etiquette when it comes to the gym. So here we go. My first etiquette tip, um, I didn't write it down, so I'm going to remember based off of my head. My first tip is um, phones. So if you're going to use a piece of equipment, don't be on your phone talking to your girlfriend and your boyfriend. Okay? No. That's no, no. Okay? You put your phone down, you do your work, you do your thing, and then you get out. Okay? It's rude when you're on your phone uh, for too long. If you're changing music, you're, tr you're logging your training, okay, sure. But um, if you're going to sit there on your phone on a piece of equipment, uh, really be mindful of that. There's people watching you and it doesn't look doesn't look good okay that's number one be very very mindful of that uh, not only that you're gonna make some people upset um, in my old days I used to just kind of go up and just I would go up to somebody and I would say obviously I would ask them how many sets they had left right because that was the right thing to do or it's the right thing to do and then if they continue to use the thing because they don't pick up on my tone of voice, I go back up to them again and I say, <clears throat> excuse me, are you working your body or are you working your fingers? Because this is all I see right now. Right? They would just look at me like this. I'm like, are you done or not? Because if you're not done, or if you're done, then leave. <laughs> But I stopped doing that because I got in trouble one day. So, but moral of the story is don't stay on your phone and be considerate of that. Number two, uh, odor, body odor. Uh, everybody comes from different walks of life. And, you know, you don't have to smell like Dolce & Gabbana. But at least smell neutral and or just avoid smelling like body odor. Um, no one wants to smell your genitals, <laughs> okay? Although some people might, but 
<laughs> just keep smelling good okay be really be mindful that when you smell what you smell like uh, you never know who you might meet you never know you're gonna meet your next girl or guy friend you're gonna meet your next supervisor you're gonna meet, meet your next clients you're gonna meet you know who knows you just never know uh, really think it's very important hygiene how you present yourself um, you don't have to have fancy clothes or have fancy nails or jewelry nothing just just be clean that's very important cleanliness that's number two um, obviously as you can tell I get things thrifted you know secondhand nothing wrong with that I love secondhand all my Jewish friends get secondhand you know whether you have no money whether you have a lot of money doesn't matter you gotta be smart with it okay that's number two number three is uh like slamming the weights and throwing the weights around in the gym uh, i see a lot of people do this so specifically more so beginners when, when they're in the gym um or maybe you have some anger management problems <laughs> uh if you're going to throw a weight around reconsider that um, you want to respect the equipment if you're going to do things like deadlifting then be mindful of how soft you put it down um, obviously, if you're lifting a heavy load, you know, things can happen, what have you. But if you are mindful of that, you can control it. If you can pick it up, you can put it down slowly and in a controlled manner. Um, now, sure, you want to throw things around. You want to, like, lift up whatever and then just throw it on the floor and then be done with it. Fine. But if you're going to do that every single time, there's a reason. There's that alarm at Planet Fitness. Okay, don't don't be the jerk and that throws things around and god forbid somebody's next to you and you don't even notice and then you throw the weight and then they get hurt okay it's not a good look not a good move doesn't look professional doesn't look classy um have some class have some etiquette be polite and no one's asking you to be nice just be polite there's a difference between being nice and being polite you can be polite but not be nice that's me <laughs> okay uh let's see the fourth one i had was i think so I said phones, I said clothes, I said hygiene, I said uh, throwing weights around. Uh, oh yeah, your stuff. Uh, I see a lot of people do this, unfortunately. Even in gyms where there's advanced people because, unfortunately, the more advanced you get, the bigger your ego gets, <laughs> okay? So uh, if you're going to a gym, put your stuff in a little corner, okay? Put your walnuts, okay, and your H2O in the corner away from people okay or just put it right next to you the thing that i see people often do is they put their stuff they lay it out for everybody to see as though they're doing like a garage sale okay they're like they're, they're like here's 2.99 99 cents 4.99 one dollar no you put your stuff in a compact way put it in the corner put it next to you the reason being is because i've seen people trip and fall because somebody was irresponsible with their stuff and God forbid, they trip and fall, they hit their head, they crack their, their head, their skin, you will be in big trouble. So be mindful of that, be careful of that, okay? Be considerate of that. And not only, not only that, respect your belongings, okay? You bought your stuff with your hard-earned money, protect it, okay? Okay, my last tip is, I'm not going to edit this video, so we're going to sit here and think. Let me think. I don't think I said this in the video because I posted it, but I did, I, I, I'm recalling something else that I noticed people do. And that is, um, like, oh yes, taking pictures. Taking pictures and recording, okay? Now, nowadays with the TikTok and the Instagrammer and the YouTubers and the whatevers, People want to be an influencer to make money online, right? They want to be cool and be part of this new new movement. The problem is that when you record yourself, you're going to get, you may get other people in the video or the picture. And that's a problem. Depending on the uh, gym that you are in, this can be very dangerous. I've seen people, and I actually stir up a conflict one time, and I asked them actually, actually i actually i didn't ask them i just said you need to delete that because i didn't want to be in the video and they and they did 
But there's people out there that are like me that are just going to go up to you and just tell you how it is. Because they have no right to be... Now, granted, it is a public place. However, it's it's just the right thing to do. Okay, Don't go recording people in a gym or in a public place. I know somebody that told me that their dad or his mom or whatever um, records other people like in public. And I... I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I will say in the gym, I see a lot of people, well, I've seen it on TikTok, where they will record somebody and then make fun of them online. That is uh, irresponsible, no etiquette, and not a good look. So uh, really reconsider what you're doing, especially if you're going to talk about them online and make them look a certain way. Um, it's not necessarily for their sake. It's more so for your sake. Um, how, what does that say about you? Uh, there are people in this world that are going to look at how you treat people and how you interact. Um, no one's asking you to be nice. No one's asking you to be, you know, be everyone's friend. But I think you do have to be polite and you have to have some self-respect. And um, when you're in public like that, um, I think that that is uh, very dangerous to do. If you're going to take a picture or you're going to record somebody in public and then you're going to post it online, very dangerous. Uh, I had a friend one time, he sent me a picture of somebody and made fun of them through my text and I just responded, I'm pretty disappointed the fact that you're sending me this photo and he asked me why and I said because I thought you were better than that. I thought you had a little bit more class than to send me a picture of some dude and you're going to text me making fun of him. And it changed my perspective of this person. So... Really reconsider what you're doing. It's not a good look when you're recording somebody. And, um, I mean, granted, again, it is public. Um, however, I would hope that you choose to not do that. Um, I think it's just not right. It's not, it's not the, it's not good to do. Okay. It doesn't look good. You look, it looks uneducated and very unclassy. So try to avoid doing that. Okay. Um, okay, so that is the video. Thank you for watching to my best YouTube channel ever. I'm training shoulders today and I did my makeup because I felt like doing makeup. And uh, what else we got? I'm going to be recording another video with my microphone and we'll see how that goes because we're going to be changing the dynamic here. And for more stuff from me, you can check out my links below for consult calls, whether it be training or kind of motivational stuff. I'm really into psychology, motivational mindset, um, kind of protecting your energy, you know, your, your aura, your energy is worth, worth something. You've got to protect it and be very, very mindful of kind of what you're putting in your mind and what you're listening to, uh, because that does kind of affect you, so to speak. Now, if you like hard rock, like me, sometimes you like that heavy rock, but you know, you should be listening to positive, encouraging stuff, things that will affirm your goals and get you closer to where you want to go in life. So thank you for watching today's video and consider liking the video and thank you for subscribing and I will see you in the next video.